end of May. Right, Boo? It's the end of May. Another month it's, shot to hell. It's a time for a, a family vlog update. God, I don't know how this, this striping thing, <laughs> I think it's working out. This month I'm by really fast. Don't you think? Yeah. It's crazy. So it's the end of the month. It's May 30th and it's exactly 17 years to the day that I married this guy. <laughs> and ironically, we're not wearing our actual wedding rings. Mine got <laughs> stolen. Yeah. After, what, a year after we got married? Two years after yeah. we got married? Yeah. And his stopped fitting. <laughs> I, lost, I lost a little weight, so <laughs> it kept on falling off my fingers, so she got me a smaller one. So I'm wearing something I got myself to replace. This is probably like my fifth or sixth replacement in the time. One of these days I'll get myself an actual real replacement set, but yeah, I literally like whenever I <laughs> change it out, but it doesn't matter. I mean, all that matters is that you get married and I get him a new one every few years because I get dinged up and <laughs> messed up. But the original one, his original one at least is still um, in my jewelry box yep. and it's still in there. It's just way too big for him. Yeah. It's um, black titanium. Yeah, it can't be resized. You can't really resize titanium. And I, we could have taken it up to the jeweler in Bellevue, but we just never uh, get up there anymore. So, yeah. And I don't even have a receipt anymore. So, anywho. What we're here for, and Mr. Boo is here. Right, Boo? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, it's that time of the month. Not that time of the month. This time of the month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Family friendly. Family. <laughs> uh, this time of the month. So, can you have me a little oh, slice yes. of dancer? So we're, I mean, I know I'm going to insert a whole bunch of um, clips of where we, what we did this month. So um, that's what Stefan will do in the editing process here. Okay. So I have a quick unboxing. I bought this from um, LB. I was having the hardest time on their website. Um, Sunday? I can't remember the day now. I think it was Sunday. I was trying and trying and trying. It kept saying there was like some weird random payment issue. I'm like, um, yeah, nothing wrong with my card. Plenty of money. What, uh, what's going on? So I ended up finally calling in. I got the call center and the gal took the order and she's like, yeah, I don't know what's going on. It went through just fine. So she was very kind. She ended up, um, doing a, um, next day air. So I got here in like two days. So I was out of here in no time. So that was really cool. So purchase receipt. And I, I like buying online. I would meant to go into the store, but I like buying online because they still do the long, um, receipts online. Let's see what we got here. So the usual and return the exchanges, prepaid envelope. So, okay. so it came in this little box and it looks like it's actually gift wrap. So that's cool. They hadn't been doing that for a while. So nice. And well, Screw that off here. So what I um, wanted to buy, and I still need to go in and try out um, their fragrances. I want to try out on the beach and cactus garden. But I saw this strap online, and I'm hoping it's going to go with um, the Mahina bag that I got a couple weeks ago. So there's the code for it. A nice little drawstring bag and it's in the um eclipse coloring so we'll see if it works out so it is gray and then so reverse gray and then black with gray and it's got this kind of um hematite ish gunmetal tone to it there. So I thought it would look really nice with um, the bag. And if you undo these little um, snaps here, it'll be a longer bag for crossbody. But I, at this point, I just care about it being a shoulder bag. 
So I love how it's made. Yeah, no smell to it. It has the stamp date code. I was hearing, well, maybe it's still the same in um, SLGs and accessories, but I think the new bags have microchip, uh, yeah, microchips in them now. So that's different. So I'm going to grab the bag and put this on and we'll try it out. Be right back. Okay, so the hardware matches, but the gray is really off. So I don't know. I might have to return it. I was really hoping this would be a closer match. This is more of, it's almost like a bronzy gray rather than a, a true gray. So that's, that's really different. Huh. Okay. Well, that's a little bit disappointing. I really had my hopes up that I'd found the, the strap for it. I think it's just going to have to be a handbag. Yeah. Well, I might just have to keep it anyway and do the do it for my no way because I do want to get a um, a black speedy as well in epi leather, so it would be really nice with with that. What's up? So we're in downtown Portland. Nancy's going to the Louis Vuitton store to return a piece of merchandise. And uh, we brought bamboo here because we didn't want to leave them alone at home for three hours. <clears throat> so Nancy's at the Louis store, like I said, and uh, Boo and I are just gonna walk around here until Nancy uh, texts me back saying she's ready to leave and I'll come back. To the store and uh, we'll go to the car. Um, right now we're standing at the corner of uh, 5th and Yamhill near Pioneer Square, Courthouse Square. Uh, we'll just walk over there and uh, I don't know, maybe I'll get a Starbucks or something. So here we are at the Pioneer Port Courthouse Square having a little little sit down here and there's got my Frappuccino and there's my doggy over there. We're just kind of chilling here while we're waiting for Nancy to conduct her business at the store and uh, not much else to say just sitting here in the sunshine watching the trains go by and uh, having my drink Okay, so just got done returning that strap to Louis Vuitton. That was an experience. Um, but I found a very nice client advisor who's willing to help me out in the future. So that's awesome. Um, bought a few things. I have Boo here who went on a sniffari all over downtown Portland. Not all over, around the park blocks and around the, around the store <laughs> with Stefan. Uh, but now we're just gonna head back uh, to Salem in the car. Look at how excited he is back there. He's just like, yeah. This might have been his first time in the city. Yeah, he is a small town dog. Now he's in the big city. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to head back to Salem and he's got training this afternoon. This is a big full day for the doggie. Yep. So yay. Good times. See you later.
Okay, so we're trying out an experiment. We're at Starbucks picking up some coffee, but we're attempting to leave our child at home alone. And by child, we mean, you know, fluffy. Woof. 50 to pound foot and pit bull mix. Bamboo. We're hoping that he'll be okay. I'm bringing up the camera right now to see um, if he's if he's doing okay or not. But we're waiting for our coffee to... Um, he's only been alone about five minutes. Yeah, we'll see what he's doing. That's, That's the horrible. one with the crappy sound. He's, he's watching us at the picture window. He's watching for us. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. That's promising. I thought for sure he'd be already like eating the couch within minutes. Yeah, he was... Uh, that's kind of like when you were away at work and he was kind of slumped on that uh, chair. Off the, uh, yeah, turn the off that volume. sound. That's horrible. So, yeah, we'll see. So, Seth's so going to go get our coffee and we'll check back in in a couple. Yep. Okay. We're only 10 minutes out so far. He's just been circling and hanging out at the picture window looking at us. Uh, this is going to be a long hour. <laughs> I'm not sure yeah. if we can do it. Well, it doesn't have to be a full hour. We'll just give him some time. And oh, we're husband. just we're just a couple of minutes away from home. So if there's an emergency, we can be there in a couple of minutes. Yeah. Say one minute, really. Yeah, it shouldn't take us very long. I even have the car running, so I could, I could just put it in gear and get us home in like a minute or less. Yeah, he's back at the picture window. So far, so good. No, no damage. He's not eating the couch. Not eating the couch. I did a little howl there. He seems to mostly be keeping to the places we can see. Yeah. We're traumatized. We're not sure what to do. He can't hang out in the uh, carrier too long. He gets too antsy. But he destroys. I mean, he went after your socks again this morning. It's been nonstop. Back at the window. Maybe we'll just give it 30 minutes this first time and sure. slowly increase as we run errands. But so we're anyway. what, about 15 minutes right now? Yeah. So yeah, that's our Sunday adventure, trying to see if the doggie can handle being by himself. So, mm -hmm. yay. Okay. We've got a latchkey doggie. Latchkey doggie. So I'm stuck in traffic and the day was my last day of work the agency that I've been at for about 12 years and I've had about half a dozen breakdown crying fits but um, yeah it's a closing a chapter on a long um, unpleasant I guess is the word when, for all the, for all the few, well, she said for all the few good things, a lot of uh, bad. The exit interview was horrible. I think I cried throughout the whole thing and having to recount the reasons why I'm leaving. Um, more than was the worst part, but um, in the end, everyone's replaceable, and that was definitely. Um, something people reminded me of this week so the lesson of this month is don't get so invested in your job because it's not going to make you happy you do your best but you know you have to do what make you happy in the end so I start a new job on Tuesday this is the start of the Memorial Day weekend hopefully I can get a little bit of rest in the next few days and start a new life on Tuesday so we'll see what happens <laughs> bye okay so yeah you probably saw a ebb and flow of emotions <laughs> throughout the month of May. Um, there's one, and it might even be, able, I'm, not, I'm not even sure what uh, order they're going in, but uh, I've changed jobs and I start my new job on Tuesday, the 1st of June. Today again is Sunday, May 30th, our anniversary. 
and we decided to usually film our month in review vlog uh, the last Saturday, Sunday of, of every month. So we are here to talk about Bark Box from Mr. Boo Bear and what he got for this month. So here is this month's Gal Galapagos Tales of the Tropics. T-A-I-L-S. Oh, he's going to lose his crap. Oh, he's going to lose his crap. It's... Do I see a turtle? I... Furl. Somebody <clears throat> wants that. So, real cute. He's clue. He's got his head down. As soon as he sees, yeah. it's all squishy toys. As a as a fan of science and stuff, I'm 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 I really like the yes, Galapagos chili. thing. Oh, muy muy caliente jalapeno. <laughs> look at his like, like oh, there he is. Mom, what's a chili got to do with the Galapagos? I think I, I must have done an add-on because. Huh. Could that was like Cinco de, oh yeah, because Cinco de Mayo, yeah. and it was an add-on, but it, yeah, that's right. They literally just got here, and a fishy, oh my god, a fishy. It's oh. a cute fishy. Oh, you want them all. And a turtle. And a turtle. Oh, he's purple. Does this one squeak? I don't know, boo. You're going to destroy it. I literally gave him a new but, um, see butterfly. Too. Is it a butterfly? Tortuga. A tortuga. Tomas Tortuga. Awesome. Oh, yeah. I gave him a butterfly. Was it yesterday or the day before? Uh, I think it was yesterday. And it's from the Zippy Paws brand. And he normally, um, those last a while for him. It's hard to squeak. And no, he not yet. No. was through that sucker in 10 minutes. She's got her head cut off. And uh, yeah. So, and we got a, the Pet Gourmet Small Batches Beef Recipe Chew Stick. You're going to be all over that sucker, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Tasty. Yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. And then a Thinkers Play-Doh Pet Treats. Isn't that the Portland baseball team? Looks like, a, tre like a jerky. You want to pull that one, too? Yeah? And, oh, well, they gave us two and of And another this. bag of treats. Oh, no, they're different. They're oinky. So two bags of treats, both pink and oinky, but one says oinky jerky sticks, pork recipe with apples, yeah, and the other one says rolls. oinky rolls, oinky rolls, yeah, with molasses. Tear it here to make your fit dog's favorite sound. Uh -huh. So Not yet. you will love this box. Uh -huh. You will just die over it. Oh, there were so many cute toys. Oh, I wish I, I want to go back and buy all the rest of them. That's so cute. There's a crab. Oh, yeah. That would have been There's awesome. And I'm not sure what that is. Is that a duck? That's a duck. Baby booby. Sally Bitefoot Crab. We got Thomas Tortuga and Santiago Seal. There's oh, it's a seal, not a fish. Culpepper. Yeah, it was a seal. Oh, okay. I thought it was a fish. Isabella Iguana. I'm a uh, Baltra Batfish. He's single and ready to mangle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Sergio Search Sea Turtle. So those would have been cute. Yeah. I wonder if we, maybe we'll get add-ons later to to buy more. Maybe. That would be cute. Take a pic or video of your dog catching their favorite Galapagos toys and share with hashtag box, Bark Box Day. Narrate your nature video in the caption. Hmm. Well, right. I do that. He does it on Instagram. Yep. I do Instagrams. So, so <clears throat> yeah. Boo Bear. You want a jalapeno? <laughs> it's a crazy crinkle and a squeaker. Oh, yeah, that's one will last because you hate the crinkles. We'll give you this one. Give it a good boy. We went to the dog park this morning and he got to play with a few. A couple few, of dogs uh, one at doggies. A time. He was very well behaved. He didn't bite anybody. No. You want good it? Good boy. You want it? You gonna take it? No? Okay, hmm. well, he was excited. No, he was oh, like... there he goes. He's biting it for it now. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So just put it down and give it to me. So anyway, that's that is the bark box. That's that's May. That's 17 years. That's a lot. <laughs> so we'll see how. I'm not done yet. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Oh, is that the video? <laughs> I don't. He's not done with me no. yet. No. Yeah. Okay. 17 years. I'm not done yet. Okay. So there's there's that at least. So we'll see what June brings us. I don't think there's anything house related really that we're doing other than some garden stuff 
Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. We'll uh, see you. See you next month. Hopefully everything's good in your neck of the woods and we'll see y'all soon. Take care. Say bye. Ah, okay.